All right, so I found 10 unique side hustles you can do to earn money in 2023, and I'm gonna be giving you examples and how to get started on these. And these are all relatively easy, and they cost $0 to get started. And the first one on the list is going to be Airtasker. So Airtasker is an online platform that connects people who need tasks done with people who have the skills to do them. And this could be anything from home cleaning to deliveries to marketing and design. One of my favorite side hustles you can do on this website is moving. And this is something I did when I was young, and there were times where I actually made over a hundred dollars per hour. And you can expect to make at the very least $35 an hour doing this side hustle. And basically what you do is you literally just help people move things from point A to point B. Now you might be thinking you need a truck or you need a van or something along those lines. And yes, those things do help. But once you book the task, a lot of the time you can actually just go ahead and rent a truck. And this is something you can do for just a little bit of extra money on the side whenever you have some free time, or it's something you can turn into a full-time business. So overall, I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity opportunity score. It's one of my favorite side hustles that you can do in person in your local area. Now, the next one on the list is going to be selling educational notes, and you can start with nexusnotes.com. And this is where you get to monetize your academic expertise by creating and selling comprehensive study guides. And you can also get paid to share lecture notes as well as summaries to lazy students who didn't want to attend class. Now, this is something I used to do all the time. I used to skip almost every single class in pharmacy school, at least the ones that I could get away with. And luckily, I'd always have some friends that would give me the notes afterwards. And if you don't think you can make money with this, well, there was a girl who made $2 million in two years named Stephanie Bakes. And she did it by selling study notes on Etsy and TikTok. And if you look into the notes section, hey, what do you know? There's pharmacy notes for tablets and liquid oral formulations. So you can basically find study notes on just about any subject out there. And like I said, to get started, Nexus Notes makes this entire process super easy. So overall, I'm gonna give this one a money score of eight out of 10. Now the next one on the list is where you can get paid to be an illustrator and you don't even have to have any art related talent. And that's because you can use AI software such as Midjourney to create amazing graphic designs. So all you really have to get good at is prompting Midjourney to do all of the work for you. And there's a story I found on CNBC Make It about a 29 year old making $22,000 per month. And she did this with her art related side hustle. And she says that she only works about two hours per day. Now, if you wanted to get a job as an illustrator, they make about $42,000 a year. And of course you can make much more than that as a freelancer or if you start your own business. And you can get started with this on all kinds of different freelancing websites such as fiverr.com. Now, the trick here is to make sure that you find a niche. You want to find a profitable niche to be an illustrator. In. And you kind of want to build your brand off of being very good at whatever that niche is. But overall, this is a really good opportunity. I'm going to give it a money score of seven out of 10. Now, the next one on the list is probably one of the easiest and best business models you can possibly do. And that is selling digital products. Now, the reason this is such a good business model is because of the fact that digital products have very little overhead. They're extremely cheap to create. So when you sell a digital product, you probably have a profit margin over 90%, which is pretty much unheard of for any other type of product. And on top of that, digital products are incredibly scalable and you don't have to store them in a place like you would with physical products. So you don't have to deal with all the logistical problems that come along with selling physical products. You can sell anything from eBooks to templates to online courses. And you basically just create it one time and then you have a product that is out there forever getting sales for you passively. So for instance, I have a product that I created like two and a half years ago and I don't even market it and it still passively gets sales. So my best advice on this one is to start off by selling a super cheap product. Just try to make your first dollar online. So make some kind of ebook or a template or a checklist, something along those lines and sell it for $1. Once you get a few sales at $1, move up to $10, make something else and sell it for $10, then move up to like 50 or $100 and so on. And by doing this, first of all, you'll figure out what people actually want to buy and you will get the ball rolling. You'll get started. So overall, I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10 money score. One of the absolute best business models out there. Now, the next one on the list might be great for you if you're a fan of podcasts, and that's going to be a podcast project manager. And this is something that a bunch of people out there are making really good money from. There's a lot of different ways that you can make money from this. For instance, you can help people set up their podcasts, dealing with all of the audio and the interface and making sure that cameras switch when person A is talking or it switches when person B is talking. That isn't super easy 
to set up. So a lot of the time people will hire experts to set it up for them. And there's also other jobs related to podcasts, such as clipping up all of the different podcast clips. There is just a lot of ways to make money when it comes to podcasts. And if you wanted to work a job, there are podcast manager jobs that post that pay about $40 an hour. But there's also a bunch of different freelance and service related businesses that you can start around podcasts. So overall, I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10 money score. Now the next one on the list is involved in real estate and it's something you can do as a side hustle and that's going to be a field inspector. So field inspectors basically perform inspections on properties. A lot of the time they'll take pictures and they'll just document everything in order to make sure that the property is suitable to be lived in. And sometimes it has to do with insurance purposes as well. And one website where you can get started with this easily is jmireports.com. Now you might be thinking you have to have experience in real estate in order to do this, but actually the job is relatively simple, but it does require somebody to go there in person. And it even says right on the website, experience in insurance or field work isn't essential to handle this role. Now, according to Glassdoor, field inspectors make about $54,000 a year. And this is something you can do as a side hustle as well. And typically you'll make about 150 to $350 per day. And that's according to JMI. So overall, really solid one. It's something where there's pretty much always going to be demand for this. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list might be great for you if you're a fan of chess. The room! and that is becoming a professional chess coach. So chess is something that I did play when I was younger, but I got back into it the last few years when the Queen's Gambit came out on Netflix and chess basically just exploded in popularity. Now, one thing I noticed is I wasn't actually getting better watching some of the best players out there make content because they're just so much better than everyone else that it's like, it doesn't really help you when they explain things. Instead, the channels that I found I had the most success with when it comes to getting better were channels with lower rated coaches. And there are chess coaches out there such as Gotham Chess, which is Levy Rosman, who are estimated to make over $10 million a year. And the funny thing is you can actually make more money as a chess coach or a chess content creator than being a chess player. Most professional chess players do not make good money at all. So hopefully that changes in the future, but until then you can make money as a chess coach. So you can make money selling openings courses. You can sell affiliate products such as chess trainers, or you can sell one-on-one -on -one coaching slots. So overall, I'm going to give chess coach and also just game coaching in general a seven out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list combines real estate with artistic ability, and that is taking property photos. So basically you're gonna be taking the photos that go up on real estate listings. And this can be extremely profitable, especially again, if you pick a niche. So for instance, if you specialize in taking luxury property photos, that's gonna pay more than just your typical property photos. So typically you get paid 55 to $65 per hour. But if you take luxury property photos, you make about 180 to $200 per hour. And for commercial, commercial real estate photography, you can make up to $400 per hour. And an easy way to get started with this is using proxypix.com. You can also contact local real estate agents, advertise your services on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. So overall, I'll give this one a 7.5 out of 10 money score. The next on the list is gonna be for my 20% of the audience out there, which is women. And that is going to be a beauty service provider. And this is basically where you help people to apply makeup and you also might help them with their outfits as well. And you'd be doing this for events such as weddings. You could also do hairstyling, nail art, et cetera. And nail salons, for instance, are extremely profitable. Now, as a beauty stylist, you would make about $19 an hour. That's in a job, but you can make much more than that as a freelancer or if you start your own business. So overall, this is one of those niches where there's always going to be tons of money. Some of the highest paid YouTubers, for instance, are in the beauty niche. So the money is basically there for the taking. You just have to start a business and provide a good service. Overall, I'm gonna give this one a money score of 8.5 out of 10. So the next one on the list is going to be a party inter entertainer. So this could be anything from running a trivia night all the way to being a children entertainer and like dressing up like a clown. And there's actually a ton of money in this. So for instance, I used to know somebody who would dress up and go sing to people on their birthday. So tons of people in the community would actually hire this person to usually go to somebody's work that you would usually have a present. They would be dressed up and they would sing them happy birthday and they would get paid $300 every single time they did that. So this is definitely more of a side hustle. It would be kind of hard to turn this into a full-time business. And it's it's also one where you definitely want to find the right niche and market yourself in the correct way. So for instance, if you're really good at singing, that would be the thing you'd probably do. So you could work as a karaoke host at weddings, for instance. So yeah, this can be a pretty solid one. I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, if you haven't checked it out already, I did make a side hustle tier list where I ranked a bunch of different side hustles from S tier, which is the best, F tier, which is the worst. And you can check that out by clicking right here.